Hello everyone, this is Inglorious P back in another video today, and today I'm going to be discussing with, with y'all what to expect at the uh, Dallas Card Show, um, what you think, what I think you'll see, um, how to prepare for it. I'll have five tips at the end of this little picture right here, but just wanted to go over it for y'all. Um, I know that a bunch of y'all um, that subscribe to me have never been to a card show, don't know what to expect. Um, and even if you have, you know, it's still good to get these tips because I think I'm going to give y'all some good information. Um, before I begin, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know below what you guys think of this video of me. Um, I appreciate the subs. If I can get them, I want to get to 100. I'm trying to get the the grind, really. Um, but let's get into it. So, first off, the Dallas Card Show is happen happening in a really nice area of DFW. Um, it's in a pretty uh, wealthy area, if you want to call it that. And it's a, it's a nice um, convention center. Um, the space will be large. There's going to be 450 vendors there. Um, so you're going to see um, just a lot of different faces, a lot of out of towners. There's going to be YouTubers. There's going to be people you see on Facebook. There's going to be all sorts of stuff. Um, and, and overall, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, there's going to be a lot of um, autographs there. Chad Ocho Cinco will be there. That's the one I'm hyped about. Um, and it overall will be a fun time. Um, I, I, I say that y'all should get there Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think Friday won't be as busy because, you know, people work. Um, Fridays, you would have basically had to take the day off. Um, but overall, it'll be a lot of fun. And this is kind of the, uh, the picture, you know, that's going around of what to expect, what'll be there. And it'll be a fun time. I, I think that um, it'll be something that you'll enjoy. You're going to see tons of videos of people going to it and... Uh, I'm really happy they're putting this on. So, let's get into five tips. I know I did a video before of um, tips, but I think these are five more tips that you can use. Um, five, you know, I might have mentioned them before, but just a little more in depth on them, right? And, and so in the last one, one of the main points I was saying uh, in the last video is, you know, bring your graded stuff and try to trade or sell it for cash or raw stuff. And so here, here's five more tips. Number one, negotiate. It gets easier the more you do it. Um, and, and it's also, as the days go on, by Sunday, a lot of these guys are gonna give way better deals than on Saturday or even Friday because um, they don't wanna move it. Do you really wanna take back all these slabs or especially these sellers because there's 450 vendors, okay? Now there's probably gonna be thousands of people there, honestly, thousands. But there's gonna be those vendors that don't sell anything. A lot of them, it's because they have their prices too high or maybe they're just off-putting, right? Maybe they're not wearing a mask. Maybe that scares people or, you know, maybe they're just aggressive or maybe they just, you know, it's just for whatever reason, right? Those guys, though, by Sunday, if they're sitting there and they're like, man, I have not sold anything or I'm not really moving much, those are the best ones to get deals with. But a lot of people, they don't want to bring it home with them. And you need to negotiate. Don't ever pay the list price. If someone says I'll sell for 500 or 100 or 10 or whatever, don't just give them the money. Negotiate with them. They're there to talk, they're there to have fun. You know, no one's trying to get over on each other, right? You know, make a deal. I offer, you know, I usually offer like 20% off. Um, Cause a lot of times, so these guys will use their eBay comps, right? And so let's say it's a card that's $100. Well, I can go on eBay and pay $100, I mean, <laughs> What, what, why am I buying it from you, right? I mean, raw, I guess, like I can see it and see that it's not all messed up, but you know, why would I do that, right? If I could buy a graded PSA 10 card for 100, let's say, why am I, why would I just go online? Like, yeah, the tax I avoid maybe, but okay. Um, so I offer you 20% off, usually 20, 30, depending on how much I'm buying, you know, if, if they have a listed price, right? Um, that's why I usually try to go into the dollar boxes and stuff because it's cheap and they just don't understand what they have with them. But a lot of these things, man, well, negotiate with them. Don't just give them the full price. I mean, unless it's something that you really want, you know, negotiate. And it gets easier the more you do it. You might be scared. You might be saying, oh, that inglorious is a jerk. That's, that's fine. But I'm not paying you $100, you know, or whatever for something I can go to another table and get the exact same thing for that same price, right? So... Just keep that in mind um, that you don't have to pay their listing price and a lot of times it's just a starting point you know um, if, if I'm buying five ten things from someone especially if they're not desirable cards right if it's not a if they're not jaw and Zion cards you know maybe I go with 30 40 percent off 
um, there's nothing wrong with going low and let them meet you in the middle. Uh, you control the situation, right? So I'm not going to tell you all how to negotiate. There's different ways to do it. I'm more of a passive person. I'm more of a, I'll offer it to you, and I'm not really going to have a big discussion with you. Um, some people try to go in there and they try to have this big discussion and they try to like bring up comps and show all these different things. Honestly, it's it's, it's a simple question to me. Um, most cards, unless they are numbered to 15 or something, what you have is not that special. I mean, it might be special to you, and I'm not trying to be rude, but honestly, um, I know I've really been dragging on this point, but I wanted to get this across to y'all. Is If it's a base card, that card is not that special, honestly, especially in today's day and age where they're printing mass amounts of these cards. Um, you know, so, so don't have an issue going up there and saying, hey, I'll give you 80 bucks or 70 or whatever. And if they say, no, I'm stuck at 100, then okay, well, all right, on to the next one. I'll find someone else that'll do it. So, and those are the guys that you can come back to on Sunday, right? If you go to negotiate with them and the first day they're like, no, can't do it. And you come back Sunday and they still got basically everything they came with. Well, <laughs> how about 70 now, right? And so you have to just start laying those seeds. Sunday is money day. I really try not to buy anything the first day I'm there unless I'm getting a great deal because you have that second day. Um, and a lot of the people I target, I don't target the Zions and stuff, right? I don't target the people that, you know, people are going to go after. So obviously if you get a good deal, buy it. But again, negotiate. Don't pay a listing price. Next tip, um, have your list of cards you want. So it's going to go, you're going to go in there. There's 450 vendors there, 450. There's, that's overwhelming. It's a big room, loud, people all around you. You know, a lot of y'all, if you've been quarantined, if you've been working from home, you're not used to, you know, honestly, it's a, it's something you have to get acclimated to, right? Back into it again. Um, there's all these people around you. You know, there's going to be cards everywhere. Every card, you know, super expensive, super cheap. Everything that you could ever imagine will be there. Well, have your list of what you want. It's really easy to go into this event and say, okay, you know, I want these 10 guys. And then before you know it, you're walking out with 10 other guys that you had no, you know, interest in buying before you came. But you walked out and you made the case in your head because you think you had a good deal that, man, I, I really need this, you know, whatever card, <laughs> you know. Um, so have your list and stick to it. And it's really hard and it's something that takes time. It takes, I don't know if you want to call it maturity or I'm blanking on the word what it's called, but stick to your list. Um, you know, if it's someone that you're already iffy on, I guess, maybe, but say you're already you're already making excuses for spending money on stuff that you didn't need or want, right? So go in there and stick to your list um, and go after your cards. Don't, you know, sway from it. Um, obviously, if you get a good deal, if you know this card is $100 online, or, you know, this card raw is like a $30 card online or 40 on Starstock, and they're selling it for 15 okay, buy it and flip it. You know, I... I've, I'm going to do that too. I'm going to walk out of there with a lot of stuff I'm flipping. But on a general basis, stick to the cards you want. Number three, utilize trades. Um, this is big, especially with the non-store vendor type guys. The guys that are going to show up, they've got, you know, 100 cards with them, right? 100 slabs, but they're nice slabs. And they're willing to take your trades. You know, you're going to get rejected 8 out of 10 times, right? They're going to say... Yeah, I'll give you 40 bucks for your $100 slab. Okay, no. But utilize trades with people, other people there. Um, I think there's going to be a trading time where there's like a separate area to trade with people. Um, trade with the stores, trade with the people. Utilize your trades, especially if you can trade up. If I can trade you three of my jaws for one of your, I don't know, like what whatever card, right? If I can trade you three of my base jaws for one colored RJ Barrett or something, I don't know then do it. Like, definitely do it. Um, utilize your trades to make up for capital that you don't have. Um, I suggest only trading up. Don't ever trade down. So what I mean by that is you have two $50 cards and you want this $100 card. Trade the two 50s or even trade, you know, two $60 cards to get that one $100 card. Um, if you trade down, you've now split your money. It's two separate things you have to sell. Um, you know, it's a little harder to sell sometimes. So just be cognizant of it. Um, really only trade up, but still utilize your trades. If you can't afford this 
thousand dollar card, but they're willing to take on, you know, three or four of your smaller cards that you know can get a little higher at the value. Um, you know, if you, even if you trade, if you have this thousand dollar card you want, and they want your th four three hundred dollar cards that is like a twelve hundred dollar value, still do it, um, because after fees and shipping and finding other people to buy those three hundred dollar cards, you've you've done well. So um, trade up. And, uh, you know, get to the stuff that you really, really want, that you've worked hard to get to. Uh, number four, um, I hope, um, speaking well to y'all, I hope that you guys are, uh, you know, liking this video so far. So again, please subscribe, comment, like, um, I appreciate it. But number four, take your time. Um, even right now, I'm speaking kind of fast, um, just because I don't want this to be a 50 minute video, but take your time and breathe. Um, take a lunch, take a half hour lunch. I'm gonna take a half hour lunch personally, because um, I don't want to waste too much time, but breathe, take your time, um, and take one minute per table minimum. Every You can literally, I did the math, you can go to, and you have a little more time than this actually, um, you have like a minute and a half, but I say a minute just because it's an easier number to remember. Take one minute per table minimum. And when I say that, I mean, when you go to a table, breathe, relax, introduce yourself if you want, I don't really, I usually just sit, I'm a quiet person, I, I'll probably say 15 words the whole day, I just like to stick to myself and, you know, not get distracted and, you know, uh, that's who I am, uh, I'm not a big talker, um, and really that's why I don't have my face in these videos, but <laughs> take your time, breathe, take a minute per table, you may never buy these cards that are at this table, but understand why they're there look around, see what people are doing, presenting, you know, um, and understand the market more. Say, you know, let's say you're a low-end buyer, right? Let's say you've got $200 that you can afford. Okay, even if this table is full of $1,000 cards, look at them, appreciate them. Understand what made these a 1000 What is the difference between these guys and my stuff, right? What, why, why is it, why are these $1,000? Why? Or, it, it, you know, it's a table full of jerseys and helmets and signed Babe Ruth stuff and whatever. Take a look at them. Appreciate it. That's really cool. And understand that market. See if you can start to broaden your horizons, learn some more, um, and just take your time. The problem is a lot of people are going to go in there and they're going to say, 450 tables, let's rush through it. They're going to run through all the tables, da 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 you know. Uh, check them all out and by the end of Saturday and after one day they're gonna say they've done it all and leave and what they missed is all those little deals sitting on tables that they just ran right past run through all these boxes the dollar boxes five dollar boxes that they paid no attention to and meanwhile it's a great deal they just missed out on right so you know take your time look through it all um, and when I say a minute per table, you know, okay, it could be 30 seconds. Just look, at least don't just walk right by tables. I, I have a bad tendency to do that when I first started is run right by them. Take your time, look at them um, just for a second and then move on. Um, and you may not get to every table, but you know, it's better than running through and not seeing half the stuff because you skimmed, you skimmed it all, right? So. Yeah, at least check it out when I say a minute, you know, and count a minute in your head. See how long a minute is of actually just standing and doing nothing. That is a long time. So, you know, take your time, breathe. Um, you have, I'm assuming if people, if you're watching this, it's, a, you know, you're going to go on a Saturday. You have all of Saturday, all of Sunday. Just check it all out. Just, you know, some people, you don't even need a minute. It'll be 30 seconds. Um, I just had another, uh, oh, and bring cash. So that was my other you know, before I get to the last tip, but uh, bring cash. Um, I found it a lot better to negotiate with um, because that way they don't have to use their PayPal or a credit card scanner or whatever. Bring cash, you can usually get a discount. Um, and I believe a lot of times avoid taxes. So you didn't hear that from me, but um, bring cash. That's a great negotiating uh, tool. So last one, have fun. Um, by the way, you should be paying your taxes. Um, they should be charging you taxes, but I'm just saying, use cash. It's uh, dealt, the seller will end up covering it a lot of times. But anyways, have fun. It's gonna be a lot of people. It's been hyped for months. This is exciting stuff. This is, 
the closest thing to a national that you're going to see um, and that's even if the national comes up so this might be this year's nationals technically so have fun you know um, enjoy it meet some people um, I'm not really the type to meet people but if you're into meeting people then do it um, you know I, I I mean I like to I'm not saying I don't like to meet people but I, I kind of uh, like to just walk through so that's my that's my thing is have fun enjoy it um, it'll be a lot of a lot of fun but again negotiate use cash as a leverage um, use car, trades as a leverage have your list don't sway from it stick to your 10 15 guys I personally have my list of nine guys I'll review after the show this weekend um, I'll show you guys the cards I was targeting and how it came out um, take your time at least you know I say a minute 30 seconds really just sit there appreciate what they brought understand what they brought look through every single thing that they brought and move on to the next one um, a lot of these guys will just have slabs so just look at the slabs real quick and move on and have fun um, it's gonna be a lot of fun I appreciate y'all watching please like comment subscribe let me know below what you guys think um, did you enjoy this video you know maybe y'all can recognize my voice at the show <laughs> we'll see if you can even find me but um, yeah it'll be a good time and uh, Saturday I'm gonna have a video of what I picked up Sunday I'll do overall review Monday I'll show you guys the cards I targeted um, and how it came out um, I'll probably do an SGC card reveal Monday or Tuesday whenever those get here so I've got some good comment uh, content coming onto the channel so I appreciate you watching and have a good day peace